Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and this video is sponsored by Dragon Raja, which is a AAA quality console game in your pocket because this is a pretty big download size, but it is worth the wait. It has unbelievably high graphics on mobile devices using the latest technology of Unreal Engine 4. Some new things to the game include Blitzkrieg, which brings Battle Royale gameplay and also auto chess is now in the game. There's a new career shop owner. You can open your own shop. You can sell your own food, photography, painting or sculptures, a housing system where you can buy property and even build a basement, an air system where you can raise an air with your soul made when your air grows up they will help you in the fight also a new game function has mysteriously appeared collect some runes to uncover a strange and curious rune language intriguing there are new classes too one of them meet fighter they come from the mysterious and ancient east and use martial arts to repel the enemy and another class puppeteer who use paper as a weapon that appears fragile but i assure you it is definitely not the case some more new gameplay in the road to summit competition climb to the pinnacle with your teammates there are rewards for registration and completion of each stage permanent custom titles and other rewards waiting for you all also, to top it all off, the character creation in this game is just amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you very much, Dragon Rasher, for sponsoring the video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. And if you want to check it out, click the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and today I am your president. I'm sorry in advance. That's right. Although there was other candidates, I think uh, Din, Din Lad, Trump, and Joe, Joe Blygen, I was uh, picked as a write-in. So I'm going to be your president from now on. So, uh, oops. Ah, President Hurty. Good to see the people are already protesting. <laughs> Make love, not war. That's not going to fly in my administration. Okay, so this is 20 years ago. It's your birthday and your mother hasn't called you yet. Wine is nasty. Politicians are trying to keep babbling. Honey, can we go home? Your wife says. I'm networking. I can't. <laughs> she looks at you with resentment in her eyes. I am tired of you, she says. So am I. You reply instinctively. You are now divorced, okay? Well, this is escalating quickly. I have to change myself first before becoming president. I'm going to buy a new cat. <laughs> and just after that, you make a decision. You will run for presidency. <laughs> and I got it. Wow. A Nissan Qashqai at a low APR and becoming president. What a great few years. Why is this game so depressing? I just told my mom that basically I don't want to talk. And then she hung up and this is her last conversation before she passes away. I just want to be president and say like, nuke that country. Ireland won't fight back. Get them. <laughs> I thought the whole game was just going to be me clicking about how I'm disappointed everyone in my life. If I wanted that, I'd just live my normal life. <laughs> we must make sure that we win the second term. Wait, but I thought we just did it. I'm so confused. They signed it vice president. Do you not even have a name? Oh, secret room. That's what you want. <laughs> oh my God, who was in there? <laughs> he's just came running out. Happy New Year, Mr. President. How are you doing? I just read the exact same thing. What does that even mean? <laughs> All right. Okay, I think the situation is I've done three years. I need to do one more year of being president president and then seek re-election. I just call the re-election crap and he doesn't like it. All right, let's focus on the military. I want to invade Ireland. They're up to no good over there. I'm pretty sure he's a cardboard cutout. I think they just put a cardboard cutout in my office and I'm just talking to that. Oh yeah, he was cardboard. He turned around and out he goes. Oh, emails. Who reads emails anymore? Back off. News. Okay, that's not good news at all. How to talk so you seem smart. Yes, click, click. Click, please. Why doesn't it work? Okay, the climate issues are completely locked due to the narrative choices. I guess my guy does not care about that. He cares about conflict. That's the only thing I can actually do. Global domination plan. Yes, I want to get there. But for now, sleepy time. I take over the world tomorrow. <laughs> Oh no, go away. I don't want to talk to you. I want to go on my laptop. Oldest turtle on the planet starts swearing. We should probably nuke him. Josh tilted his head a bit, dropped his carrot, and then quite clearly said the word shit. <laughs> probably found out I'm president. Sadly, soon after that, Josh died. Maybe that's why he cursed then. Some good last words. Last word. All right, I'm, I'm going to learn about threat elimination. Reptilian photos. Why, why do I have a folder called that? What's the password? I'm the president. I should know about these things. All right, come in, cardboard cutout. What have you got to say? Okay, this guy has a plan to shoot missiles at Taiwan, and then we'll shoot down the missiles to prove that we can shoot down missiles. Great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Are we getting anything in return? I guess if we wanted to display his strength, we could get them to return the favor and nuke us back. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds promising. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know they had nukes. They don't, at least not officially, but we could sell them some for the express purpose of firing them back at us. Yeah, that's something to consider. That man is a lunatic. Sorry, that cardboard cutout is a lunatic. All right, launch missiles for them to intercept? Nah, launch missiles and sell them some nukes so they can retaliate. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone in Europe's like, ooh, fireworks. <laughs> oh yeah, look, there you go. Fireworks show of a lifetime. Our European allies will be very happy with that. New message has arrived in your email. Probably everyone in Europe congratulating me. Oh no, wait, it's from Trev. Yo, man, I see you're selling the car you bought after you and your wife split for good. But to be honest, that car looks hella shitty and rusted, so I can pay no more than 2G. I mean, yes, uh, wait, mean as hell, agreeable, toxic. Uh, I call him toxic. You think I'm stupid or what? That car is legendary piece of art. FFS. It made me happy. Truly happy. 2Js, maybe your mama's worth. That's all I can say. No respect to you, Mr. Prez. <laughs> Send. <laughs> Oh, okay, Trevor. We're all good. That was fun. I liked nuking people. Can I do it again? Ireland, where are you? Nuke them. Nuke them. <laughs> I can't just nuke them for no reason. All right, I'll find a reason soon. Good morning, Mr. President. It's been two weeks of the new year already. How are you doing? Fantastic. I love launching nukes. My new year's resolution will be becoming stronger and more persistent <laughs> because then I would never bend under pressure. <laughs> okay, last man standing is my quest. That's very fitting. <laughs> but this is just to get our military stronger. I'm sure I can do that. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I want to build a military that's capable of taking over the world. <laughs> I could guess I could build a snowman first. Oh, well, uh, now's the time for it. Can you nuke snow? <laughs> if all my citizens are cardboard, they're going to get all soggy. We're talking about memes now. <laughs> I love memes. They said winter's coming and I did not believe them. What a fool I was. <laughs> Sir, I think that was a meme, not an actual prediction. A meme? What's that? A funny picture consisting of both truth and joke. I like memes. <laughs> Everyone dying from the snowstorm and I'm like yay memes. We do not want Americans to turn into polar bears so what I propose we should invest. No, I like polar bears. Alright, fine. I'll make some choices. I'll try and save some people. What is your screech gonna be? Oh, I don't tweet. I screech. The White House is secured and soon the rest of the country will be as well. Do not open windows though. No. Wood in my fireplace is nicely cracking and my hands are now warming up. I suggest you like... No. I just really love polar bears. Maybe? <gasps> Dear citizen, I'm freezing as well. Don't die, please. Use president. <laughs> Screech. Ah, uh, that's my work done for the day. <laughs> can I go sleep now? One tweet is about all I can do in a day. Uh, this person's blaming me that his wife and child died from the cold. Let's reply to him. Heartless. Listen, moron. I'm not your dad, and I don't have to take care of you or keep you warm. You're a grown man who let his family die in a freaking snowstorm. Therefore, you're a goddamn waste of space. That's all I have to say. Not your president. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy, I hope we get really elected. Oh my god, he was just drunk and that was actually snowmen out of this back garden. Okay, well, you know what? I'm glad I berated him now. Oh, there's another event. Let's see what's happening. Gorillas are targeting our local oil reserves. I say we take the war to them. Let's go, gang. Come on. <laughs> yep, that looks promising. Oh no, someone's knocking. They're gonna get angry, aren't they? Oh, he's just saying the Super Bowl is coming. Okay, I like you. You don't care if I start attacking other countries for no reason. Wait, he's given me an opportunity to be in an ad in the Super Bowl? Yes, I'll be the actor. <laughs> he's like, you could just let the director take care of it. But I'm like, no, I want to be the star. I'm gonna have to screech about this. I'm excited. There we go. Screw football. Want to see the real game? Join me on Super Bowl Sunday and watch the best spot ever. Super Bowl ad. Your president. Screech that. Ah, everyone's really excited about it. Oh, wait, an interview? I'm tired, no feel like talking. No, no, I, I want this interview. Uh, what? Uh, American sport in general? What? What should I do? I, I can't see all the answers. What do you think of the American football in particular? It's lame. <laughs> yeah, people will love that. I support the hyenas. I don't think that's even the team, is it? That'll make a good article. I need to get this to unlock uh, my global domination plan. We'll go this way. <laughs> wait, what did I even invest in? Foreign influence budget. Okay, that, that helps too. That's nice. <gasps> Congratulations, you're the 100,000 visitor. A Claim my prize. All you have to do is confirm the shipping payment. Yes, confirm. Do I win? <laughs> I think I just got the White House hacked. Yes, I completed my New Year's resolution of last man standing. I don't know what I did. I did go to war, I guess. That was probably it. Yes, military footholds. Yes, uh, study that. Perfect. Do I want to go to the Super Bowl or stay here? I don't want to watch it at all. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Everyone didn't like that. Oh, we won the war. Yeah, I forgot I started one. All right, never mind. End the day. Go sleep. The stock market plummeted. Oh, no. Who is this? Just tell me, bro. You good? Angry. What the hell is 
your problem, man. You don't know me. So why do you want to know if I'm good? Maybe I'm great. F you. <laughs> F you too, dog. Are you saying Jesus? Are you signing it off as Jesus? Because that's important. The military is just going fantastic. And look, I got a little star on the map. That's just lovely. <laughs> I like to think that's just hanging up behind him. And he's got little smiley face stickers and stars. Like, yay, I did a good job. Oh, no, I need to prepare for re-election already. America needs someone strong as its ruler. Let's release like an advert of me lifting heavy things. Oh, press conference. Okay, I'm ready. Oh my god, so many cardboard figures in one room. Yes, you, sir, in the beanie. <laughs> How's this year been for you so far? Ignore. Would you call the vice president your friend? Ignore. Um, What would you do if you were chosen for second term? Ignore. Uh, what are the biggest challenges for a country? Ignore. How do you describe your presidency with one word? Successful. Are you sure you're not too old? Ignore. Nervous before the... No, ignore. Would you like to say something? Ignore. You stay in touch with your <laughs> ex-wife. No. Next, please. Your result poor. What? I'll just ignore that too. One more sleep and I'll unlock my global domination plan. Wait. The judgment day. Oh no. Wait, I'm in a plane and there's a crisis. At least it's not on the plane. <laughs> I have a fear of flying. That would be scary. All right, there's a crisis over here. There's been a drastic shift of power in Kenya and their new president refused to acknowledge the preferential trade agreement his predecessor signed with the US. Oh, it's just negotiate a new deal or nullify the agreement and encourage them to pull out of Kenya. I wanted to go to war. Well, I didn't respect the deal. I backed out of Kenya. Can you believe it? Ah, <laughs> uh, this kid's trying to give me advice and I'm just like, I'm the best president. Stop offending me. I am always right. Are you my parent or what? Can we just chill? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about the convention. I don't care. <laughs> this is your moment to shine. Okay. You open your mouth. I like polar bears. <laughs> Suddenly everything fades to silence. You see? That's how I get attention. Anyway, I have something to tell you. There's a void in your head. You feel dizzy. Excuse me, I have to go. I didn't get the nomination for my party. The disposable present. I got an achievement. That's it? What about my remaining 100 days. I didn't even get to talk about my plan for global domination. All right. Press conference time again. Let's try and do it better. Uh, Bean Boy, give me a... <laughs> it's a Beanie Boy. But Bean Boy, give me a softball question. There we go. Your result. Awesome. There we go. Turns out not just standing up there and going... As they try and ask me questions, works a lot better. Now, please choose me to run for re-election. I've faked my way to the 100-day mark. Oh, no, it's giving me the same options. Oh, dear. You know you speak gibberish, but cannot stop. Oh, no, they're not going to pick me again. It's hard being president. <laughs> Why can't I just be a king? Okay, amazing. This time I have an option to actually have a strategy. <laughs> I'm great when it comes to international affairs since I know quite a lot of business. Okay, Kevin, don't say I really like polar bears. Don't say I really like polar bears. Wait, what is this? This didn't happen last time. An executive order. Oh, I don't know if I should do this beforehand. I don't want to mess anything up. Oh no, I've messed up my signature. All right, we'll just bring it over here and then we'll do cursive. Kevin. <laughs> some lowercase, some uppercase letters. And we'll put in a little smiley face here as well. That's part of the signature. A little Nike logo just for, you know, just do it. <laughs> that does not look like a Nike logo. A sun shining down on our glorious presidency. And this little man who is voting for me. And he's also happy because he's voting for me. And he's he's a cyclops. There we go. Except <laughs> they're just like, yes, sir, I don't think you can get your toddler child to sign these for you. No, that was me. <laughs> me, the president of the United States that signed that. All right, let's end the day and just Oh no, Mr. President, I don't feel so good. What is this? What? what? Uh, did I get through it? Okay, good. I got through it. Thank God. Okay. My party must have picked me, I guess. A re-election on the horizon. Yes. Okay, great. I have a chance here. Oh God, a medical checkup. Oh no, <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> Please don't put a needle in me. You'll find out that my blood is basically KFC gravy. This is just a formality, but <laughs> please, sir, tell me how are you feeling? Should I be honest and say I'm generally in pain? <laughs> Why is he saying I have a headache, stomachache, and everything? everything ache. Don't be honest with this man. Have you ever woken up and did not know where you were? Why do I have to say yes sometimes or oh god yes? You feel, often feel weak like you could lose consciousness or have you ever actually fainted? I feel like fainting right now. Wait oh my god a memory test I didn't realize um I don't know. Oh that's correct okay thank god. I will come back to work and forget all about it. Long live the denial. That's not what you say to a doctor. Your grandson wants an autograph? Oh of course. <laughs> it's got like this 
sun on it and the men voting and everything. Oh, I actually get to sign it. I get to do another one. The righteous music playing and then I give him a letter saying, I will kill your dad. <laughs> See, I don't know if I'll get a second term. Like, do I get to play as a second term? Because if so, I want to play it safe now and then in the new term, start my global domination. But if I don't get to do that, I, I want to start my global domination now. Maybe I'll just keep doing this for diplomacy and then I'll move to my global domination plan. <laughs> With all due respect, you need to stop alienating your voter base. What am I doing to alienate them? It's about the music, sir. What? The music is pissing them off? Oh my God. They want to know what music I listen to. That's what you care about? I'm here trying to plan global domination or like, do you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> my heart is so full of music. I bleed sounds and notes on many occasions. Okay, no, that won't go well with the doctor report that's going to come in saying that I feel like fainting at any second. There we go. Music is a beautiful thing. Some songs even bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> Have you ever listened to Smash Mouth? I only cry when you screech, Mr. Press. <laughs> okay, we got this done. Uh, let's focus on global domination now. I haven't read my emails in four years. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised more people don't email me <laughs> since I seem to just give it out to people. Random people are just emailing me about their, you know, daughter and wife dying in the backyard. How do you do, fellow kids? Oh, damn it. Did I not relate to them with my music? Wait, how did Beanie Bro get in here? <laughs> yo, 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 Mr. Prez, what's up, big homie? <laughs> All right, he's my music advisor, apparently. <laughs> I need rapper pop. Let's get some rap up in here. Beanies. <laughs> oh my God, the economy just sank. Why? Oh, something happened that was bad and now bad things. They'll blame me. It's not my fault. I'm just the president. I just sit here all day. Oh God, we have someone committing fraud in our administration. I don't need this right now. I really don't. <laughs> Wait, you, the man from the plane? I'm firing this man. I, I don't know if he did anything or not, but even the accusation without any evidence has deeply offended me. Out you go. <laughs> I can get global domination. Yes. Oh no, I just started my global domination plan and then it came up new developments in Germany require your urgent attention. <sighs> it's not something you ever want to hear. Oh no, it's just the terrorists. Is that? That's fine. We'll leave the Germans deal with them. They'll be fine. I want global domination. <laughs> Who is calling me on my phone? I guess after four years of emailing, you finally decided to pick up the phone. Oh God, it was a journalist and this whole scandal of that guy cheating money out of the government is ruining my reputation? I just want global domination. I have nothing to do with fraud. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I see that you're busy, so I'll try not to take too much of your time. Thanks. I appreciated that. I'll get to the point then. It's about the global domination plan. It's been making some major waves among the people privy to the details. <laughs> Even my guys like, can't say I blame them. Why have you ordered us to work on this plan? What's our end game? Both me and many others are confused about this. Okay, so the little bars up the top show what boosts I'm going to get. And since my military and I think diplomacy is already so high, <laughs> I'm going to talk about this one to get a boost to our industry. <laughs> I'm just muttering like, excellent. <laughs> As he walks out. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. Did you say something? As I walked out? No. Oh, no. He's got his hands on his hips. He's pissed off. Oh, some boring thing about security. I don't care about that. Oh, wait, I have to make a decision on it? Uh, scanning all the subway passengers. Feck that. There we go. Feck that. Reject. Oh, no, a man in a briefcase is here now. Oh, it's my doctor. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the memory ain't too good, doc. <laughs> How is your grandson doing? He's good. No, God, I can't do it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God, is something wrong? I'm dying, aren't I? Oh, my God, I've had a brain aneurysm. Oh, my God, having an aneurysm is not a death sentence. People can live with it for a long time, but only if they avoid stress and live peacefully. <laughs> what are you you trying to say, Doc? You cannot run for re-election. This could kill you. And, and if you are not willing to resign the party, the nation, even I will not allow you to continue. No. Global domination. Get out of here. Like, honestly, why would you give me that bad news and immediately saying, ah, you probably shouldn't be re-elected? <laughs> like, could you not just give me a moment to process this information? Oh, I forgot I have to manage my cabinet. Where's the guy who got me in trouble? This guy. Can we get rid of him? There we go. He's fired. <laughs> Where's sandals? Even in winter. You're in. Oh, wait. What about this one? I wish I had hair like hers. Yeah, you're in. <laughs> cool hair. <laughs> Maybe it's best I don't get reelected. <laughs> the way I make my decisions. Sorrow endings. No, that's not a title of a chapter I want to hear about. Oh, it's a feckin' lightning storm outside. <laughs> Am I about to die? Oh, what is it now? It's my ex-wife. Are you serious? Why did you divorce me? Um, I wish. What? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good talk. You cannot be president anymore, Dan. It's gonna kill you. You have to quit. This unlocked. Saying it's not fair. I don't know how I, I did this, but let me pick this one. I've been thinking, how would you feel if I visited you one day? when you're already retired. Ah, sure, I'd love to. That'd be nice. After the global domination. No one's knocking. No one wants to talk to me anymore. Could I just nuke someone? For old time's sake. 
please. <laughs> They're like, all right, go on. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I just started launching the nukes. Election day. Fall is finally here. Look at that. At least I'm leaving the country with the strongest military possible and a solid plan for global domination. They're talking about the vice president and the chief of staff is like, do you know that he never rides a car without head protection? <laughs> so he just drives around in a helmet? Isn't that dangerous? Oh, I need to do a speech. Drag intro here. This is how my president ends <laughs> with thunderous applause. Put that as my intro. I got happy ending. Global domination. <laughs> All right, well, we launched some nukes. We achieved global domination. Well, at least we have a plan for it. I feel like that went well. If you want to vote for me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But for now, I'll just say I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate it as always. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.